Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you? What to do, everybody? It's your boy C Sleazy, and I'm back with another bank for you boys. And I was thinking, and I was like, they need a, they need a bank. So I'm saying, I'm gonna give y'all niggas the top three point guard builds going in to 2K20. I'm about to say 2K19. Going into 2K20. All right. Now I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna start up top. So I'm gonna start from the top to the bottom. This build is like your, your playmaking slasher. This build is going to be daddy. Now, I'd either go with this, this, like, right, trio with the physical profile. I'm either going this one or this one. Now, I think just because I'm a, it's got a lot to do with slashing, I'm going to go with this one, right? Now, if y'all did not know, I'm, I'm going to really give y'all a hint right here. When upgrading, hold RT or your right trigger so you can do this faster. Like, trust me on that. Now... You can see this build can't really shoot. It's gonna have like a 68-3 when you get done doing everything. You're gonna have around a 68-3, which I, I know it ain't the it ain't the best in the world, right? But it ain't the worst. You know what I'm saying? It for sure ain't the worst. But you wanna make sure you get all these. So you get like look at the badges. For one, let's talk about these badges. These badges are pretty clean. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cap with you. Now that's all I would really upgrade. 71 steel, lateral quickness, and perimeter defense. You get those and you're good. But let's just take a look. Take a, a quick look at the way this nigga's gonna be built, right? And you know, we're building, all our players are built. Now, if you make this nigga 6'6", six, six, I wouldn't make him 6'6", six, six, but let's say you make him 6'5", right? Your 6'5", your standing dunk is going up crazy. Your driving dunk is still a 90. Your driving dunk is a 91. You can still speed boost. And pretty much, there's not really anything bad about being 6'1", I mean 6'5", besides your lateral quickness. Now, you can make him 6'3", but it's, it's all a personal preference. With the slash, you might want to be a little bit taller. Now, to get that lateral quickness back, what I would do personally is I would I would minimize his weight, right? To get all of that, that back. Now, you might want to, you could, I mean, you could balance it out. You could for sure balance it out. To a point where you don't lose too much strength. If that's what you're worried about, you don't think you're gonna finish your contact dunk. So let's just say that's that, let's just say that's what you're worried about. I go, uh, what was that? 190, 190 pounds. Now you already know we minimize the wingspan. That's without a doubt. Yeah, you, you're gonna have a 66.3. Now, peep, peep. Like, trust me on this one. If you know your shot and everything, a 66.3 is not terrible. Now your slasher, I would I would for sure go with the slashing takeover. But the other one may be the shot creating, if you want to be a shot maker. Penny Hardaway, Russell Westbrook, and John Wall, your slashing playmaker at six foot five, right? Now, let's get on to the badges. Remember, this is the first build. Like, I'm bring, I'm really bringing out a banger right now. This is a super underrated banger that I'm bringing you boys right now, right? So, you know, obviously, obviously, we're going 99 just so you can get the full experience. And some footage got leaked. I don't know if I'm going to put it on the screen because you know how 2K baby leaks. You get to choose what you upgrade. Like, that's so dope to me. You, you get to choose what you upgrade. So, if I had to choose, you get 21 badges, right? 21. I'm, I'm going... Let's just let's just say you want to... Just keep, just keep it simple. Let's just say you just want to keep it simple, right? Boom. Maybe, maybe you go... What? Giant, giant Slayer down to, to gold or silver. This down to gold... Nah, you don't even you don't even need that. I I do pro touch, pro touch, slithery, slithery finish it a little bit, just you know, so you can you can really get in get in the paint. You know what I'm saying? The person the player's ability to beat defenders with an advanced layup or dunk gather. It's it's your preference. Like I'm telling you, it's really your preference. But if I had to choose it, because you know when you're going in that paint. You're gonna be going over big defenders, so I'd either do Hall of Fame Giant Slayer or Hall of Fame Pro Touch. That's just me. That's just me. But on to the shooting badges. Now you're like, what am I doing with my shooting badges? Difficult shots go off rip. Whatever play you make, you want to be able to shoot even a little bit. I would for sure put your difficult shots as high as it can possibly go. Now, corner. Oh wait, no. Corner specialist, corner specialist, because as a slasher, you don't have a high three anyway. 
so corner specialist, catch and shoot, one, well, I'd give one dead eye, and maybe, maybe range extender, range extender, just like that, on to the next one, right, playmaking, playmaking badges, now you're a pretty much playmaking slasher, so you don't want to lose the ball, for sure, unpluckable, boom, right, anchor breaker, boom, right, uh, sp look, space creep. I feel like this is going to be one of the best badges in the game. Tight handles, you already know you don't want to get ripped. That's just one thing nobody wants Nobody wants to get ripped. Now, you have five Hall of Fame badges, and you still have six upgrades available. So, this is what I would do. If it was me, this is what I would do. Now, maybe you can you can do Dimer. And let's, if you want to be like a ISOing slasher, I wouldn't do Dimer. Maybe stop and go. Maybe something like that. But, it, it, like I'm telling you, it don't even matter. Quick first step. As a slasher, quick first step, and silver dimer. Six Hall of Fame badges on that one. So right now, we have nine Hall of Fame badges. And for your your one upgrade, clamps. Easy. Clamps. Listen to me. You This build has nine Hall of Fame badges, right? Four gold badges. And five silver badges. I'm pretty sure I'm counting. All right, and three bronze. Hold on, but talk to me. Nine Hall of Fame badges. This build, and you're six foot five. You have almost a 73. You'll have a, around a, uh, above a 73 with a boost. You can go to the paint, finish in the paint, and you can speed boost with this build. How is this build not going to be one of the best builds in the game? Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this is not an order from which build is the best and which build is not. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that right now, okay? But this is the first build. Okay, this is the first build. And now we're going straight into the second one. <laughs> and we back. This is the second build I'm going to put y'all on to, okay? Now, if you remember, this was the build I just showed y'all, right? This was the build I used in my first walkthrough, my first play. Now, everybody knows about this build, but a super underrated build is going to be this build. Not, not even underrated because people know about it, just people sleep. So, I'm going to go ahead and get into this one, right? 95 speed this is like your last year if you had a play shot or a shot play this is about this is pretty close to that build right 94 92 88 i'm not really focusing on shit right now if you I, me personally i i really want to be the fastest guy on the court right because it's harder to guard people that are faster right so we're gonna we're gonna pretty much do the same thing we maxing out all these right now, now, watch how we do this. Trust me, watch how we do this. Because this one, you got to be smart with. Now, how many of my post fade can I take away? I can take away two from my post fade and still have 15 shooting badges. So, let's go upgrade all this, right? So, we can finish in the paint. Lateral quickness, perimeter defense. I'm telling you, that's like the only things I'm worried about is my lateral quickness and my perimeter defense, right? So, how many can we take away from post moves without losing 30? We just took away six. We have six more. What about post hook? So now we have 13 more. You can put that into your defensive rebounding. You can put that into your steal or your block, your interior defense. Me, I'm going to go I'm gonna go with a 53 steal or something along those lines, right? We have 16, 15, and 30. This build is going to be able to score on anybody. Now, you can make him 6'3", you make him 6'4", make him 6'5", you can even make him 6'6". Six, six. You make him 6'6", six, six, you still have 89 ball handling, right? You have a 74 open shot 3, which will go up to what, 77, 78? But me, I, I really like 6'5". I feel like 6'5 is a really good height, you can do a lot at 6'5". So we'll go 6'5". Minimum weight, because we want to be as fast as possible with that little lateral quickness. 78'3". 88 post move, we don't really care about that, you know what I'm saying? We already have a 95 ball handling. So you know we're finna be shifty. Now, we have an 86 driving lap and an 86 driving dunk. I mean, an 80 driving dunk. So we don't have contact dunks, but we're still gonna be able to yam in that paint if we need to, you know what I'm saying? That'll probably get you like pro animations, or it should, right? Now, you can choose slashing, shot creating, or playmaking. Playmaking. You'll be able to break more ankles or shot. It's, it's really between these two for me. 
you'd be a better scorer with shot creating, be a better dribbler and stuff and playmaker. Now, if you're a clip guy, if you want a lot of clips for a mixtape and you want to make people fall, because I don't know how it works this year, you still might need your takeover to make people fall, you want to go with playmaker. If you want to just be a better scorer all around and you don't really care about clips, you'll still get clips. And if that's not your main focus, for sure go shot creating. So just for the video, we'll go shot creating, right? We'll go shot creating just for the video, right? Slashing playmaker. Penny Hardaway again. D'Angelo Russell and Kyrie. Now, I said slashing playmaker. But we saw, I'm really, I really can do whatever I feel like doing. I can shoot, I can dribble, and I can go to the paint. It's an all-around build, you know what I'm saying? So let we continue, and you know, obviously, because I already know what's up next. We, we obviously gonna put it at a 99. You gotta put it at a 99, so you can really get the full experience of everything. So when you hit 99, you'll have 95 speed, 95 excel, and 76 vertical. That's good just for your movement. But look at the stats on the side. Those are some good, you can do whatever you want. Like, I don't know if y'all really comprehending me when I say that. You can do whatever you want, right? So let's get into our finishing matches. We get, we, we only get gold finishing, but it's still, it's still good. Like, you're still gonna do work with that. So if it was me, I'm doing something along these lines. Yeah, that's probably exactly what I would do. And maybe just because I like to, no, I like to go that paint. I can go Lob City Finisher, but I'm this is like a comp build. We're looking at this as a comp build, so I'm not gonna do that. That'd just be me, right? So then I go Slippery Finisher, something like that. Or hold on, what what is Showtime? I've never even looked at those. Yeah, that's optional, right? We have 15 shooting bags. So, like I said, difficult shots. You for sure want to have difficult shots. And I'd go silver, silver, silver or gold range, range extender. Tyler score. I'd probably go gold. I'm not gonna lie. Dead eye, silver. You know, just it's a balanced build, so you want to make it as balanced as you can. Steady shooter. And you can go, you can go catch and shoot. And you can go, you can go corner specialist. That's just something slight. You can even you can exchange these two. We'll just exchange these two just for the video, right? So we're on to the next one, our playmaking. Our playmaking matches. You already know the basics. We're just we're just gonna we're just gonna do this just to just to go ahead and, and show it. You know what I'm saying? And and we still have more. We still have ten more. We already have five Hall of Fame badges. So what? You wanna do a quick first step? What else? What else is there? See I'm not one for the screen, so I don't I, like fat pay that I guess me <laughs> pass fake maestro. What, what am I gonna do that? Like, I, am I gonna get animations this year for doing pass fakes? Is is that something new? You can even get you can get freaky on a beat. You can get freaky deaky on a beat with a Hall of Fame flashy pass or something like that. But what you wanna go Hall of Fame stop and go? Then then dimer. You have seven Hall of Fame badges on this build. And we're doing the same thing every oh wait, hold on. We're doing the same thing every time. Look at check me out. Seven gold badges, seven Hall of Fame badges, five silver badges, and three bronze badges. With an all-around, this build can do everything. Shoot, dribble, and attack the, the rim. Go to the paint. And you can even play defense being 6'5 and have a good lateral quickness and perimeter defense. This is one of the best point. Like, all these are guard builds. These last two builds I showed you are guard builds. Best builds in the game for a guard. Like, out of these, I'm showing you three builds this video. Choose one of these builds for your, <laughs> like, for your player. Because you can do anything. Now, I'm showing you three primary builds. But I'm going to show you a, a fourth, a fourth sleeper build. Like, it's going to be a super sleeper build, too. Like, nobody's really gonna, really gonna know about it. People are gonna check it out, but they're really gonna overlook it. So that's, that right there is the second out of three or four, however you wanna look at it, build. And I'm at y'all with the next one, man. What's up, everybody? It's your voice, it's Lizzie, and we back. Now, I'm just gonna show y'all this build just real quick. Just real quick. This, the slashing, like, defending build. Now, I'm literally, I've not seen anybody talk about this build. Like, nobody has talked about this build. I don't really know why. 
but I was just peeping it and like this build is going to be a pretty good build if, if you just want to be a like, good comp player this is gonna be a good build now this is not the like final build I was gonna show y'all or whatever like nowhere close right but this is gonna be a good build like prom I promise you when I say that I mean it this is going to be an amazing build this year so you're looking and we're gonna do the same thing for your post fade away you can only take away a couple so you have four there nine there hold on let's take it back up let's take it back upstairs well I guess shot close so now you have 11 and you can go with who knows your defensive rebound get you some more get you some more badges look at how balanced and literally all around your badges are just off rip your badges are insane how many badges you get and I mean if you want to be able to speed boost yeah obviously 6-4 but I'd, go, I'd honestly probably go 6-5 and then just minimize his wingspan if, if it was me but on a build like this, it's tough because if you want to be able to play defense and guard anywhere, really, you're going to lose ball handling because you want to be as tall as possible. So let's just say we make this guy 6'5", too, right? 6'5", and I, again, minimum weight. And then we do um, minimum wingspan. You're still in your blocks going to go down, but you still have a good steal, and now you're going to be able to shoot, right? And obviously, obviously, you're going with this takeover, the light down takeover. Now, this is the build I was, I was showing y'all, but I, I, I guess I'll dabble. I'll dabble a little bit into it so I can really show y'all. A two-way slashing playmaker. So that's, that, there's your three archetypes. You're literally a three-in-one player. You do as you please. You can do anything. Now, I, I peep this build a little bit. This is not going to be a build I'll make honestly but this is still a really 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 good build like just look at those stats everywhere this is a really good build so you know let's let's get into it this we're just gonna start here hall of fame clamps hall of fame pick dodger hall of fame pick blocker well, what else do you want Inter interceptor like it, it's such a good build Maybe you can even dabble a little bit in the chase down artist, right? For this, Hall of Fame ankle breaker. You already know that. You already know what we do with these badges. Like I, I really shouldn't even have to tell y'all at this point. If I'm just being honest, I shouldn't have to tell y'all at this point. Boom. Shooting badge. You only get ten, so you really you actually got to be pretty smart with them. You wanna you wanna go here and you know we like that gold uh, difficult shots range extender steady shooter. Oh wait, no no no. Steady shooter. And then catch and shoot. Finishing badges. Contact finisher. Pro touch. Relentless finisher. And silver acrobat. I mean you could you can go giant slayer if you want. That's literally all up to you if you if you want to go giant slayer or acrobat or pro touch. Look at this build. Eight Hall of Fame badges. Five gold badges and what? five silver badges and one bronze badge this build is an another all-around build i guess i'm gonna pretty much be showing y'all four of the best builds in the game this build is an all-around do whatever you want take your lunch money type build it's a bully build as a point guard six foot five two so you can guard a high range and you have hall of fame clamps hall of fame clamps my guy like who's really getting who's really getting past you nobody nobody's getting past you like this is a great build and you can score with ease so this is this is just the sleeper build this for sure is the most slept on build in the game i'm just gonna let y'all know that right now but with my in my opinion probably the most overpowered if you're good at the game build i match y'all next you're expecting it you know what's coming but i'm gonna show you i'm gonna throw my little twist on hey man i just want to let y'all know this is like third time I've had to watch this damn video. <laughs> Cause I'm out here grinding to get y'all niggas these builds. I just want y'all to know. This is the third or fourth time I've had to watch this video. Cause I'm bringing y'all niggas content. And, and if you're actually listening to this right now, 
drop a unicorn emoji in the, in the comments. Besides that, I'm out here grinding for y'all niggas. So make sure you like the video. And if you don't like the video, ha, ha, you gonna have a negative record in 2K. 20. Yeah. So like the video. Now, nigga. <laughs> and we back. But y'all niggas already know what bill we making. Y'all already know what's up. The Steezo. The I'm Davis. The Code the Band. The G-Man type. Type bill. Play Sharp type bill. Now why some niggas not even make a Play Sharp? But this is their type bill. Now you know, we, we, we like speed. So we going as fast as possible. Now I want y'all to, I really want y'all to pick game right here. Like I really want y'all to pick game right here. Okay. Like, cause you, you already know how we do it. Boom. That's as much as you can do for that. And you can't even take any off that, right? So let's get oh snap. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -huh. Hold on now. Let's get our driving leg and our driving dunk up. You know, lateral quickness and still. And perimeter defense. You know what I'm saying? So you see, this is how we got it right now. So I guess we can do a little bit more with the shot close. Yeah, we can do a little bit more to close shot, whatever you want, however you want to look at it. And then we can get a 40 defensive rebound, right? Four finishing, 22 shooting, 23 playmaking, and one defense. This build is about to hit different, okay? Now, I really want y'all to consider something right now. You can make this player 6'5". You can, and you can get the pro moves, but you ain't gonna be a, a dribbler, like a super dribbler, right? And and your three, I mean your three is, isn't really effective, but I, I I just don't know about making this build six five, right? So let's say we make him six three or six four. You can make him six four, but if if you really if you care, like y'all niggas be saying y'all care, right? I can go six five, minimize the wingspan. Or, uh, no, I mean, I go 6'4", minimize the wingspan, and hope and pray that you can get your shit as soon as you need, and you don't have to wait to get 86 ball control. But me, every year I've had a 6'3 build, so I don't think I'm going to change it now. You already know what we're doing. Minimum weight and minimum wingspan. 88 three-pointer. 91 ball handling. Whew. Ooh. 88 3 and you already know we getting that sharp shooting takeover now I'm changing that Gilbert Arenas Kyrie Steph Curry I'm an offensive threat baby I'm an offensive threat these niggas can't touch me is pretty much what I'm telling you okay they can't they ain't got nothing on us Gilbert Arenas Kyrie and Steph Curry offensive threat now you already know what we about to do right here. If you if you don't make the nigga as high overall as possible, you're just doing life wrong. Honestly, I think you you might just be doing life wrong. Now getting into these finishing badges, honestly, contact finisher, pro touch. That's it. Next, or not pro touch. Uh, either well, either pro touch or relentless finisher. Maybe even no 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 no. Acrobat, cause you know we like we like to go crazy sometimes. Now shooting badges, these bitches go Hall of Fame. You already know, boom, ha, boom, yeah 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 yeah. We do that go, we we'll do that. Nah, we want that Hall of Fame, honestly. Steady shooter, you can give it to me Hall of Fame if you really want to. Now, or er, nah nah, what we'll, we'll do we we'll do steady shooter go. You can go quick draw. Which makes you release faster. Which the way I've played it, this game, a fast release is the way. So I'll go silver that and silver catch and shoot. Hey. Now you can not do quick draw and catch and shoot and do another Hall of Fame badge. Or you can just you, you honestly can just do this too if you if you if you must. If you must you can do this too, which actually we're gonna do that. And you already know, you already know what we're doing here, man. Y'all, you already know every every build, every build, you already know what we're doing here. Now for this, cause this is a completely ISO play. 
uh, this is a completely ISO type player. I might even boom, boom, boom. Cause yeah, you gonna go to the paint some. I feel like first step is really good going to the paint. You know, and I feel like if you have a good size up on, if you and you have like a high quick first step, so you might want to make that gold or something. The speed boost will be real. Trust me on that. Now look, hold on. We we are. I'm gonna play sharp. Playmaking, sharpshooter. I break niggas' ankles, and I have ten Hall of Fame badges right now. That's what you're telling me. And you know I want clamps. Goated. This build is goaded. Ten Hall of Fame badges. One gold badge. What, one silver badge and four bronze badges? This build is goaded, trust me. Now, this is this is gonna wrap up the video. Personally, this is probably gonna be the build that I make. This or the first build I showed y'all. It's gonna be one of them, honestly, honestly. You can make any of the builds. I might mess around and make a couple of the builds just to test, just to see what I'm feeling. Dabble a little bit and see what I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? But as of now, it's been your boy C Sleazy. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked the video. And I hope you share the video too. Make sure you leave a comment too. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But trust me when I tell you, this is going to be one of the best builds in the game if you really know what you're doing. But it's been your boy C Sleazy, and I'm out.